Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Tell us a That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intentions of ever letting the chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. But Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Yeah, like, that's gonna happen. You knew about the botched operation. So you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself! I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brat got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice, begin your cross-examination. I don't think that that part is a lie. I think the part that is a lie is, I didn't do anything else. <laughs> I think she did try and warn him, though, like, yo, my fiancé's whack. <laughs> Please, think about this. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, this is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth or it's over. You must... Basically, the, that entire portion where it's like... Oh, it's like that whole part from Arthur that we <laughs> yeah. referenced before. <laughs> or that one part of Arrested Development you haven't seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, as it's, you do. Like, if only he, like, slowed it down so he could actually understand what he's saying. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and, like, sacrifices to your country, like, you've been given this medal of honor by accepting it, you agree to read most of the armed forces of the United States of America, and you will say thank you. I went to ask Dr. Morales. Oh, also notice the bracelet. We yep. can do that on any of the statements. So, you did go to steal that chart. Weren't you listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have coerced him. True, it would have been impossible without a pistol. But what if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted the chart. That much is true. My reason was simple. I had no intentions of ever letting the chart. <laughs> I did everything in my power to stop, stop Donkey, Donkey Kong! Kong. <laughs> it certainly would have put a damper on your wedding plans, I'd say. Not only that, if the Katakis had gotten the chart, I'd probably with doc be with Dr. Maractus now, pulling that great noodle stand in the sky. <laughs> also, I had great ideas for the wedding on Pinterest. I, I didn't want those to go to waste. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate Pinterest so much. <laughs> it's the only time I've used it was for like Is Pinterest social media technically? Technically. You can friend people on it. So yeah. Oh, okay. You can also friend people I'm on the Bible app. That's true. I that's think it's, not social I media. Think that's as, as far as social media goes, well you can take my word for it or not. I feel like Facebook is probably the nicest in terms of interaction. One with of people. the nicest. Then I would say, uh, or, I would say or Snapchat. Might be or Snapchat actually. You think it has the nicest interactions on Snapchat? Okay, the people interacting with each other on Snapchat are probably nice. Compared to some of the other ones. They're not like, oh, you're the worst, are you sick, are you the worst? That's, no, kind, of, that's kind of Snapchat. Oh, Instagram never mind. Is, I haven't used it, really. In, Instagram is pretty nice because people, in order to post, you have to post a photo. So most of the time, it's not like... It's not like, oh, you used to... <laughs> no, it's not that, and it's also... You're not going to go on there and see someone's, like, political views, for instance. Okay, that's you true. You might, if you're following the right people for that. But generally speaking, since I use Instagram more for, like, just my friends, and then, like, a couple people mm -hmm. that I don't know but I think are cool, then it's, it's less that and more like, hey, like, okay. I had this cool thing today, and here's a picture of me, or mm -hmm. whatever. Okay, so I f I'd say then probably Instagram is probably the nicest. That's probably the nicest Then Facebook, thing. Maybe. 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 Then maybe Snapchat. Yeah. Then Twitter. <laughs> then Reddit. And then what? way, way, way far at the bottom, Tumblr. <laughs> oh, Tumblr's terrible, yeah. <laughs> Tumblr has driven people to suicide before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tumblr... <laughs> Tumblr. Ugh. Tumblr is awful. But Twitter stinks. Like I. Had oh, you have not been I on had Reddit, Twitter. have you? <laughs> I've been on Reddit. Oh. Twitter stinks way more. Because, no. Because the thing is, Twitter. If you you can't even pick the people you friend as much because random stuff will just show up in your feed. Even even more so than Reddit. At least Reddit. For you Re Reddit. You don't use Reddit. You just go on your. Reddit. Like, I go okay. for the stories, but holy cow, like. 
the, the longer you're in there, the more you're like, yeah, Reddit's just a cesspool of, like, Reddit, toxicity. Reddit, it's like, you go on there if you need to know, like, how to beat a level in a video game, and then you're gone. No, you go to YouTube for that. You go to YouTube for that, too, unless if it's a really obscure video game. <laughs> Adrian Odyssey 4. That sometimes Never. happens. But, um, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, if you have, t if you have Twitter, oh my gosh, I've, I got Twitter. And, like, just friended the people that I wanted to friend. And then, like, follow. follow or, yeah, follow. And then follow the brands I wanted. It didn't matter. I just had, like, random idiots' political views in my thing. That's like, because if someone likes someone's. Yeah. Like, I don't get that. I do not get that. Get notifications when for people other people liking stuff. That, that's so stupid. Because Twitter, you already have a way to do that. It's called the retweet button. Sure. If you want your followers to see it, you press the retweet yeah, button. Yeah, that's so dumb. I literally deactivated my account, like, within... Five days. I like gave it a chance. Though. Reddit like, and Twitter so are close. I'd say Reddit is yeah more toxic. I like the idea of just Clavier Gavin is just thinking about this while yeah. the trial's going. Oh, He's like, man. I wonder Twitter which social stinks. media site is the worst. Mm, probably Tumblr. He can think about yeah. that because Apollo's Tumblr. terrible. <laughs> Apollo's just like, oh, I'm sweating like a storm. Yeah. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. Who would want to die pulling a noodle stand? When I die, it will be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. Could we be a little less morbid, please? So you see, I needed that chart. Da, da, but Dr. Da, Maractus da. didn't understand. Parents just don't understand. He didn't understand? He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. <laughs> I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. Please don't smile like that anymore. It's creepy. He was practically delusional. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. <laughs> they sent you? He thought the Katakis had sent me to get the chart. It makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. Don't make me laugh. The Katakis send me. They don't play that way. If they'd known about the chart, they would have gone there with guns blazing. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. Some of it, this makes so much more sense why, like, Lil Plum was like, Yeah! She kinda sucks. I met Alita! She's fine, I guess. <laughs> She's been having sleepovers. Different rooms, of course. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the Katakis are gangsters, but they have upstanding Christian, traditional Christian values. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any I sense. Know. <laughs> They're like, shooting people, that's fine. You're not having sex outside of marriage. No. That's not happening. <laughs> we can't afford that. <laughs> what else? Oh, <laughs> not. Most me accurate. No, the best method of birth control. Forced abstinence. <laughs> <laughs> Forced abstinence by gunshot. <laughs> that, just, that sounded really bad. <laughs> best method of birth control. Just kill them? <laughs> no. <laughs> if that was really all that happened, what were all those noodle bowls doing there? How should I know? There weren't any bulls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for the killer you're someplace else, alright? Do I detect uncertainty there? This is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually. I felt it respond. I couldn't see a thing. It's up to you, Apollo. Time to perceive the truth. Here comes justice! Yeah, justice. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Uh. Nope. Oh wait, hang on. Actually. What? Oh. Don't we want to see your face in all the different poses really up close? No. <laughs> I know there's one. That's like when there's you turn one on witness in the future where there's like a couple statements where if you perceive them on, it's like it's actually really creepy. <laughs> Just because really? of how up close it is. No. No. It's like the equivalent of someone like smiling and you just say it close to <laughs> It's like really creepy. You thought the Kataki sent me. No. So you think that's the one? No, it can't be, because she's not doing the ring thing. Maybe she has more than one tell. Okay, well, if that's the case, she puts her head hand on by her like neck like five times. Witnesses can have more than one different. Okay. Twitch. Yes. Let's check that one, because I think she might be, like, moving her neck. So Move down. Move down to her neck. There we go. Went home. All I did was that one. Talk to gotcha. Got 
Good, good job. All I did was talk and lie. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Top ten comebacks. What? Show me proof! I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip in confidence and they give it all away. The proof is you, Miss Tiala. All I did was talk to him. You claim. Yet you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. Meanwhile, like, the judge is like, Good grief, why are you watching every witness's nervous twitching? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. A twitch, twitch. twitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> My twitch? What are you talking about? You have a twitch account! I mean, a habit of scratching the area <laughs> of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? What? This is working better than I'd hoped! Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies. Two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. D don't look at me like that. I t told you the tr truth. It seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? Oh, I hope she didn't get strangled. Hmm, it looks that it seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone's trying to hide something. Apollo, just get to the point. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Maractus Clinic office. Yeah. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. He took your underwear, didn't he? Yes. You brought a spare pair, I of knew course. you were bluffing. Huh? <laughs> I could tell by the way you fondled your spiky hair. Yeah! She found my habit! <laughs> I better rethink this. Okay, when we found the Maractus Clinic office. There were signs of a struggle and a bullet in the safe. Yeah, I really hope she's actually okay-ish. Miss Tiala was willing to do anything to get that chart. So something happened, but what? <laughs> you can't hide Hard forever, between. Phoenix Wright. Uh, just show the gun. <laughs> the, g <laughs> the gun. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? That's crazy talk. Are we showing off the lamp? Why would we show off the lamp? It's broken and there's red blood on it! Take that! What's that? You're touching your scarf again. There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken and there's a red splotch on the cord. Uh. Seeing how you hide your neck, I think I could come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp's state. Well, spit it out! This talking in circles nonsense is killing me! Also, Apollo's just going on the biggest drug trip of his life with, like, the swirling uh... background. <laughs> also, oh. remember, while he's doing this, his eyes are apparently bugging out of his head. So it's like... That's that's creepy for the witness! And everyone watching. He's talking, he's like... <laughs> very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala, please remove your scarf! I wasn't expecting her to freak out like that. I was just expecting her to be like, Psh! like, take it off, show everything off. Objection! This is a trial to determine what happened in that park. Yet we seem to have drifted off target. Objection! Shut up! We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting, as soon as the witness removes her scarf. I... I won't do it! This is insane! I'm a... an unrelated third party! You can't order me to remove... <laughs> Miss Tiala, I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. Please remove your scarf. No. No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Alita Tiala? It's like covered in blood. Oh! Your neck! That isn't what I think it is, is it? Something did happen that night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiancé's pistol to do it. But but wait! Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck, it looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly! The victim in the clinic that night was this witness. Specifically, you tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened that night at the Maractus Clinic! Ugh! Jeez! Wow! Solid red Some... rectangle. Hey, I gotta do it. 
I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Not to the same level as Dahlia's freak out. No, no, Dahlia was like bloody... a soul going to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Order, order, order. Uh, will someone please tell me what really happened? I told you the truth already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. That gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. Looks like my clinic's seen its last patient. We have to get rid of that chart. Quick, open your safe. Give it to me. So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. Hey, at least he's smart about it. Leaving me holding the short straw. But if I'm going down, I want some company. You. And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. I knew she got strangled. Paul Maractus was serious. Dead serious. He really tried to strangle me. I knew that had to have something to do with it. Because she kept touching her neck so much yeah. that I'm like, some, either in the past or recent, some sort of struggle happened with it. Because she also didn't have her scarf tight. Right. She had it loose. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign. I, I must have blacked out. Does that mean like, so, I mean, props to the doctor for being very observant on this. Like, I know what you're up to. So, you were the victim. And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick. I, I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There, are you happy now? Eh? Uh. I was out cold, almost killed. And you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand? But then how could I? Ah! That's the problem. They're like, we need a third trial period. Well, third investigation. one thing is clear. We now know what really happened at the Maractus Clinic. And it would seem that our victim was not entirely without blame himself. We already knew that. Oh. He was doing deals with the mob. Here's the he thing. hid the truth you from like, some guy's You see like, that shot of his face and you're like, kidding. oh, that, guy, that guy's guilty of something. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. You bear some responsibility for events that day, true. Yet if you were also a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss Tiala. When did this happen? Suddenly everyone's sympathizing with her. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? The only explanation I can think of if it's not Miss Tiala. She goes to the clinic. This whole struggle happens. Everything happens. And then Lil Plum comes by and is like, it's time for my night. And gets, uh, and gets in the, the thing. And that's why this dude is lifting the, the like noodle stand. He's like, it's so heavy. <laughs> because Lil Plum's in there ready to shoot. <laughs> You are just determined to make Little Plum a part of this, aren't I you? I need her to be a part of this. <laughs> well, She's like not. Sucks. Kind of. <laughs> Very well, this finishes the cross-examination of this. Even I think there's something objective to be. Best animation in the game. <laughs> not so fast. This party's just getting started. Now we rock! Woo! Wh what? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way? Prosecutor Gavin? Palmeractus choked Elita Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? He's right. There is more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even still, what if it was... What if it was her in that noodle stand? Alita Tiala, half dead. Dr. Maractus pulling that stand. Maybe he put her in the stand. And a bullet fired from inside the stand. Oh my gosh, stand. I think it's all coming together. Okay. okay, here's what happened. He strangled her and is like, crap, if somebody comes into work and sees this girl strangled on the floor, they're gonna blame me, there's gonna be all these problems. So he takes her and puts her in the noodle stand that he already stole. 
<laughs> for some yeah. reason. <laughs> for he needed those noodles he real bad. He needed those noodles. But anyway, it's there. He carries her in the noodle stand and tries to put it in the park to take the blame off of him and put it on someone else in the park because he saw Wesley Stickler walking through the park. With panties. He's like, yeah, that guy's cool. That guy's fine. <laughs> sure. But it, he does that so he can take the blame oh, off of her. What if he was like, I saw the punks break my garage and put the maybe, panties in there. Maybe. <laughs> I'm framing like, him. I mean, here's the thing. He's dead. We can't really ask. But I think that that could be what happened. Is like he realized that that would be a problem. Since it's, oh, a, previ since it's a previous employee of his that he fired... Mm -hmm. Or she at least quit. Yeah. I can't remember she which. She quit. She quit. Okay, so not fired. Not quite as bad. But they, they weren't on the best of terms. No, they weren't. What if it all was true? We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too, Prosecutor Gavin. Me? Fräulein, I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up till now. Yeah, you gotta At admire least... Gavin. He's like, I don't really care if I win. I just want to know the truth. I'm just glad that she's also not like, dude, prosecutor, you're supposed to be helping me. Well, she is. Help me get off the hook, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you admit that you are on the hook and you need to get off the hook. QXCD. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up till now. On the day of the murder, Walkie saw his checkup report. He tore it and then he tore the report in half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from which he learned about the bullet still inside him. So he took a pistol from the family stash with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Waki. So she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him. In order, uh, oh, in order to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then something happened. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. And stop having that smug, resting bitch face on your face. Yeah. But what about Dr. Maractus? That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled Alita Tiala. Perhaps he fought to death. What did he do after his crime? Cover it up. I was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene in the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, Air Forehead, care to guess? Well, Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? Well, next he picked up the cell phone in his garage. This evidence shows what he did next! <laughs> shows what, Air Forehead? Your smile has a sort of sick desperation to it, Mr. Justice. What? This smile? <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? Try again. <laughs> okay. So we know what he did next. Yeah. He stole a little stand from Poe. <laughs> As his next move, Doc Maractus stole Guy Eldoon's noodle stand. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? So much that he randomly stole a noodle stand? It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place. Ah! Wait, you don't mean! I do! Dr. Maractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala! My corpse?! Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he'd killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. Crazy talk! You're so crazy! Objection. Then let's think about it. Logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant, Waki Kitaki? Was he gonna- was he gonna dump her in the river? Oh, possibly. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I question your logic. What's this, Prosecutor Gavin? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? I think he dumped her- it was gonna dump her in the river. That's right, he had no reason to go there. Uh, oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made me do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. What? 
Apparently, the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Maractus was heading with the stand. Here, please show us in the diagram. It's the river. He's going to the river. Going up the river and he's going in the sleeping, tree. Sleeping, sleeping with the fishies. The victim is headed to the tree. Objection. The hide of Ted body in the tree. <laughs> There's an idea. Ah, uh, yes, of course. There. I would actually love to see a ridiculous <laughs> a case with like dead body in tree, like hanging. Tarzan out. is the defendant. <laughs> no. Why? I mean, on your honor, I'm still making up my mind about a lot of things. <laughs> Perhaps you should leave this court until you grow up. <laughs> uh. He was dumping her in the river. Oh my gosh. There? That's a, a river. Yes, your honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was going to throw me in the river? He didn't have many other options, Fräulein. Or in the garbage can with the panties. Yeah, that wouldn't be obvious at all. <laughs> I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. Ugh. And then, the denouement. Wesley Stickler of Panty Snatching fame walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts in that instant. You woke up. So, I shot him? You were the only one who could have stolen Waki's pistol. It had to be you! That also would explain why there'd be no pistol. Well, Miss Tiala? <laughs> nice work. You mean I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. To get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming! Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts! You're so sure he's making it up? Give us another reason! Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Where of what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? Must I always be the one to point out Air Forehead's errors? Ah! Maybe there really is something! I believe the Fräulein speaks of Air Doctor's car. His car? It was smashed up! We already know this! Only his mirror. He still drove it back to the garage. Okay, I think the airbags might have deployed a little bit when he hit you someone stop going driving. 30 minutes flying. Okay, but I don't... Okay, I've never been in a car accident that was bad enough to hit the airbags. Um, he didn't hit him with the front of the car. All he hit Phoenix with was the rear, oh, the rear the side view. Okay. For future reference, because I want to know. If you hit something and the airbags do deploy... How long is it before you can put them back in? I don't remember, but you can drive without the airbags. I mean, I know you can, yeah. Okay. And if he's disposing of a corpse in his car, he probably don't care about safety too much. True. <laughs> That's right. The Maractus Clinic has that big garage. In which sat uh, a green sports car, was it? Why would he steal the stand in the first place? Why would he steal the Declaration of Independence? If he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. Ack! And so we find our victim without probable cause to steal that stand. And our defense without a case. Um, I have an idea. You know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken! Ah, oh, what an excellent counter-argument, Fräulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. Uh, Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? Th that's right! That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright was that green sports car. Oh yes, I'd nearly forgotten about it. Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? He didn't, uh. want, he didn't want your dead body in his car. <laughs> How about that? You'll never get the stench out. <laughs> That's, that was the real... That was why the... What happened to the new car smell and the Bernstein Bears on the road, right? <laughs> they had a corpse in the car and that's why it, it stunk up the car. <laughs> Man, I wonder whatever happened that's to that a new, new car, car smell. smell. It was like a corpse in the trunk. <laughs> that's what happened, right? <laughs> I loved that book so much. 
No, it was actually because, like, the trucks were pouring smoke in it. It was a convertible, so they didn't have the car trunk up. They spilled ice cream in car. Sister barfed in the car. (laughs) Sister barfed in the car. And brother's happy about it. Yeah, it's really weird. That's such a good book. But no, it's even, not a good book. That's even, no, I'm saying that makes it that much better with the dead body. A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. No. Not the rock music! <sighs> order, order, order! Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Dr. Maractus use his car to carry the body? Because uh, he sucks. Um, Because of that new car smell. Is that a groan of surrender, I hear? Let me gather my thoughts. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. Everything I've learned. Alright. Slippers were in the the trash, along with the broken mirror. Mm-hmm. When did the car hit Mr. Just? Uh, Mr. Mr. Wright? Wright? Like a half hour before 10, I think 9.30. Crime happened at uh, like 10, 15, 10, 45, something like that. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, maybe. <laughs> oh, bird, I don't know about Maybe this. what he did. Th- this is the most ridiculous thing, though, if that's the case. This, <laughs> oh, boy. This guy, Please do so that. he strangles her. And he's like, oh my gosh, I just strangled this woman. He's like, I need I need some time to myself. I so need he gets, <laughs> and No, but he's like, I get in, he gets in the car to go for a ride just to like clear his head. No, I think that happened after he brought the car back. Oh, that happened. In, like, five minutes. He got back, he's like, just hit a guy on the road, okay. Maybe I'll take it easy tonight. Hey, by the way, this guy's trying to kill you. Oh, great, this night's yeah, just this going, going great. I, I thought that it would happen after, because that's not that much time between the car going out. No, it's and not. And her being there, him strangling her. Like, that's a very well thought out plan. To have strangled a girl and then been like, I'll just steal this guy's noodle stand that I hate. And then, like... <laughs> Throw all the bulls in here. It's fine. It's a weekend. Nobody's coming into work, even though it's a doctor's clinic. <laughs> you definitely should be coming into work. Um, and then, yeah. Mr. Justice, this contradiction cast, casts doubt upon your entire case. This is truly your last chance. The defense will explain to us what happened that night. Someone else stole the stand. The car didn't run. He carried the body in the car. Oh my gosh. Was my idea of Wesley stealing the stand right? I don't think so. Actually, it was someone else who stole the stand. B- but then why was the victim pulling it? Well, um... Yeah. He would have had to steal it from someone else. Panty snatcher, really? We're back to where we started, Mr. Justice. That's what I thought, but... Without an explanation of why he didn't use the car, I'll ask you again. This is truly your last chance. The car didn't run. carried the body in the car. No, he didn't carry the body in the car. The victim used the car to carry the body. Ah, so you're throwing out everything you've proven up until now. Well, if the car wasn't broken... I admire your adaptability in the face of impossible odds. <laughs> Yet this does not explain why he was pulling the stand. What's going on? Is Prosecutor Gavin trying to tell me something? Perhaps we need to ask you again. This, this is, is truly your last, last chance. chance. Car didn't run. I have an idea. It's all coming together. That night... Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Ha! Huh. Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Mr. Tiala. Put one and one together and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us with some evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. This is proof of why the car broke down that night. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Ah, uh, it's proof of a malfunction, all right. A malfunction in Air Forehead's brain. The court accepts this evidence. <laughs> ha ha, very funny, guys. Mr. Justice, you will mend your malfunction and present evidence that makes sense. <laughs> okay, well, there, Do you was, know? there was the mirror that was broken. But the car w- wouldn't run because... That would make no sense, though. Actually, not that. Um... 
it would be super stupid if he's like, I'm not gonna start my car. There's a phone in the way, and I'm not gonna run <laughs> over the phone. <laughs> like, he's just Actually, like, Why did you say that in the Trump voice? I will not run over that cell phone. No, it was it's more, the greatest cell no, phone ever. No, mine was, I'm not gonna eat much. It's like that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna eat much. I'm not gonna eat much. <laughs> no, that would be the most ridiculous, like, you wanna I'm try so that? special, special. I mean, I just wanna try it anyway. This is proof of why the car broke down that night? No. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? <laughs> oh, it's true. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's I a good think, idea, though. I don't think it is anything on this first page. Tell me if that's correct. Um, it's not correct. It's not correct? Okay, it's something on the first page. Uh-huh? Is it just because of the mirror? Did we just show that? No? What is it? Is it the stupid... What- what is- no. Is it because of the fingerprint powder? That would make no sense. <laughs> this is in our office! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's because of the underwear, isn't it? Because it's in Let's the pocket- Let's see Panties again?! <laughs> it's because of the underwear! Because it's in the muffler! Yep. All sorts of things come out of my panties. Even the truth. She's like, what the heck are you talking about? Another crime was committed the night of the murder. Oh my gosh! The theft I of these panties! I <laughs> this is why it's like the panties I are the most important I knew that this part. would be important. Like, okay, but... <sighs> why? <laughs> I, I don't hate this case, though. Oh, I think in this case is absolute garbage. I think... <laughs> it, I would never have written this case. However, <laughs> I like the idea of all of the struggles that are going on. And this weird noodle stand thing, and why the heck he's pulling it, like the reason. I didn't really cool. care about that. I, at I all. think that's cool because some of it is we haven't had a single case before this, as far as I can remember, that someone was strangled, other than uh, Edgeworth with the dude like strangling himself in the elevator. <laughs> and Mr. Wright, in case one, if you wish to hang yourself, Mr. Wright, you're welcome, welcome to, to, but not in my court. court. Oh, I forgot about that. This theft, uh, the theft of these panties, the latest in a string of similar thefts, actually. But that night. The Snatcher was caught in the act. Oh my gosh. A brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. In the Maractus Conant garage. What? She's like, this is not happening. Yeah. <laughs> the Snatcher hid these panties there before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hid them. Why? Weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home when my hog gave up the ghost. I knew this Your was hog? Important. My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike, too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Yep. My, how interesting. While Miss Tiawa and the doctor were struggling, the panty snatcher snuck into the Maractus garage. From that time until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. It's kind of kind of convenient that Wesley Sticker broke into the garage not a little bit later. He's like bringing the, car the corpse out. What, what the bleep is happening? Cease this at once. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets shot. There, he has two dead bodies in the back. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> he runs over now Phoenix Wright. <laughs> third one. Now I have three bodies. To the runs river. over Walkie for the park. <laughs> Four bodies. You don't drive the car through the park. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This isn't... Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. What? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. Well, Miss Tiala, this wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. So it does. Probably the calmest final breakdown. <laughs> where... where am I? So dark, can't see. Cramped? The pain, my throat's burning. W what's your problem? You, Doc, I know what you did. Uh... Walkie? You lied to me! So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man! W wait let me explain. F fine I'll give you your last request. Listen, you're being tricked, but it's not how you think. It's not just me. No. He'll ruin everything. 
I have to stop him! S cease this at once, you two! Thankfully, he left the pistol in the noodle stand, too. Thankfully, he knew- <laughs> That is ridiculous! Why did he put the pistol in there?! <laughs> oh yeah, guy pointing a noodle stand with a pistol in one hand. That- okay, that's the one dumb thing. Why would he put the pistol in the back and not pulling the stand with the pistol? Or why would he put it in there? Why would he put it in there? I don't why know. Wouldn't, why wouldn't he leave the gun in his office? Or put it in the safe? Put the I gun don't in know. The safe. That's dumb. That's the only dumb thing I can think of in this. Besides, like... And the the fact that it's revolved around panties. Okay, and the fact what? that like I don't hate that. Oh, I do. I don't, I think it's so I don't bad. hate it that much. I don't I mean, like Alita. I don't like Waki. Little Plum and Winfred are good, but they're also barely they're in barely it. They're barely in it, which I'm sad about, but that's okay. <laughs> Funny, this isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well, too bad. That's even calmer than Akra's breakdown. At least he like broke into tears. At the oh end. yeah, he broke into tears. There's still one mystery. How did you manage to disappear from that stand? In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Maractus didn't bother to take my slippers off. Slippers fall off so easily! Especially those ones where you slide your There's feet in. There's glue on the inside. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, no. Double those slippers tape. fall off all the time. Like, if you pick if you pick up a girl like a damsel in distress, and her feet are flopping around because she's unconscious, like, those slippers would have fallen off. Most likely. I threw them out after I stepped in the paint, though. That was your mistake. No. My biggest mistake? Was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. Yeah, that was your biggest mistake. Uh huh? I believe in you. You and your anything agency. If anyone would get Walkie declared guilty, it was you. Poor Apollo. <laughs> he, okay. And your anything. Case one. Forced to present forged evidence, which could have lost him his job. His boss was a terrible person. Killed oh, yeah. a guy. He spent months with nothing. Then he's like, I finally get a case. And then she's like, oh yeah, I thought you would screw up. That's why I did it. This poor guy. <laughs> I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tiala doing? She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure's calm for someone who just lost. Look at you, Manfred von Karm. <laughs> <laughs> I think he already knew. He'd figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the past two days. He lost, but I didn't exactly win either. Hmm? Something the matter, Air Forehead? Looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Not guilty! Well, he's like, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> I got my hands in my butt I'm just, pockets. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and, like, rob somebody later. <laughs> well, you're not guilty for murder, but you still pointed a gun and an... Or, actually, not a gun. He didn't have the gun. He just had a knife. He just had the knife. He's still threatened to kill a guy, so... <laughs> that court is adjourned. <laughs> We're not prosecuting him for that because his parents will kill us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you... I know Walkie's hey, innocent. Hey, baby. <laughs> June 17, 4, 12 p.m. District Court Defendant Wabi Nuji. Great job, Apollo. You did it. Yeah, we did. Somehow. Walkie's off the hook. Free to become the gangster he always wanted to be. And he has you to thank. Hey, attorney man. You're going to pay for what you did to my Alita Holmes. Or to blame, I guess. You get my Alita back. Stupid pointy-headed attorney with a death wish. Enough, Walkie. Ah, Mr. Kataki! It's high time you opened your eyes, Waki. What do you know, old man? I think it's about time you opened yours! Giving up the life, trying to become some kind of businessman? Don't talk about what you don't understand, Waki. I'm afraid the guard's gonna throw them both out. If not in jail, wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out! We know why Mr. Kataki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Waki. A walkie! Apollo has something to tell you! Huh? I do? Way to put me on the spot! Eh? Was that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kataki trying to become a businessman? To better the future of their family. 
She needs a lot more underwear. <laughs> no! <laughs> eh? You're bugging. I think that means I messed up. <laughs> Walkie, I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> you know that, right? I don't care if you think I snatch panties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would care about that. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Um... I thought it was because they were getting married, thus he's trying to make money for the wedding, but I know it wouldn't be that. But I know it wouldn't be that. Pretty obvious. It's because of the checkup report so he can make money to get an actual operation done quickly? Yeah. Think about it, Waki. Think about your condition. I talked with your mother, Little Plum, yesterday. It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. She doesn't mean... You won't really... Are you? I searched the globe, and I found one. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. Oh? But it's an expensive procedure. But, man, but, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. It was the gangster life that did this to you, Walkie. I want to help you, and I want to do it clean. Wow! That's so nice! <laughs> Please understand, Walkie. D dad M Man, I see how it is, old man. Always you looking out for- out for- Walkie? Listen good, old man! One day, one day, I'm gonna take you out! Then we'll see who's the OG! You try to hide your business suit, I'll find you! Stupid old geezer! My- Walkie? No, it's as it should be. Mr. Kotaki, I liked him more without the puppy dog eyes. I'm glad to have met you. I'm not so good with words, but I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. This is such uh, a good ending. Who? Who? Me? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think... Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest, the Kitaki Lime Pie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's opening a pie shop? So long. I'd go to that pie shop. I'd go to that pie shop too. So long as there's more than just key lime pie. Yeah. I'm not like the biggest fan of Little Plum, pie. I want your apple pie. Stuff it, sweetie. <laughs> She's like, I only make plum pies. What's she gonna tell? <laughs> okay, I'll just plum pie. <laughs> it's like the worst. Yeah, that, that is a good Joy. ending, but I still don't like walking. That's such a good ending. Oh my gosh. And he I was gone. Think, I, I thought it was all for the wedding. Like, we're making money for your wedding, pal. They both, okay. I, little Plum is at least like, eh, Lita, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. We haven't heard the dad talk about it at all. Well, let's head back, Paula. To the right anything agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aw, we make a good team. Don't just stand there, let's get going. Huh? Why not? She did help me out. And there's a few questions that still need answers. Right in his entirety. Like this power of mine that she showed me. And my bracelet. If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. Dude, are you feeling okay? Your eyes are bugging out again. <laughs> Just took some mushrooms, it's fine. <laughs> 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 Though I can't say I care much for what her father has become. Yeah, so have most people. Oh, that's right! We have to go someplace first! Huh? Where? Why? To claim our reward from Mr. Aldoon! Ah, salty noodles. Right. You got a stand back already? Oh, and after that, you can come see my show! With a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat! Oh, it's special, alright. I kind of like Trizzy without the hat. Please, anything but him. Great. The end! The end! That was probably one of the weirdest cases that we've had. A brand new episode has been added. Turnabout Serenade. <gasps> if this is a singing opera, I will be so happy! <laughs> Wait, I want, like, I really want to have a good case with, like, an opera, and then, like, the crazy opera singer, they're like, you killed him with your voice! She's like, no! I, that doesn't happen! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, what are your predictions for the case, then? Um... Honestly, all I can think of right now is the guilty party. Do you remember the the oh, Viking opera house? The, the opera oh, house the, with the Viking gal that's like, oh! What makes you think the guilty party is just this <laughs> person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. But I think it could be um like a singing type thing. It could be a, it could be a choir 
group, and then it's like I still which want one of these? I still want a case where it's like at a theater and during in the middle of a show, it's like oh someone no, like, dropped the like sandbag eight... on the guy's head. <laughs> Who was it? No, I was so like Coco. <laughs> he was crushed by a giant bell. <gasps> what? Yeah. No, to me, what I want is this sounds terrible, almost like an Abe Lincoln kind of oh. death thing where but instead of the oh ups- hey what's your name john wilkes booth it's probably <laughs> no no i'm not saying like someone in the audience gets shot i'm saying like some they have a fake shooting on stage but it's and real. it actually happens and then they're trying to figure out what okay. happens with it I'll, I'll just say uh, going into this case um one of the most unpopular cases one of the most unpopular yeah I really like this case, actually. Then I'm I, excited for it. I, I understand why people have their criticisms. I totally do. But pretty much every criticism that can be lobbed at this case can be lobbed at other cases as well. So. Okay. It's fine. I, sp- I think Turnabout Corner is terrible. We'll, we'll discuss this more later. Well, okay. We just finished Turn- Turnabout Corner. So if there's no better time to talk about it than now. I, I already kind of said why I don't like the I, case. I know. It's just, yeah. It makes sense why you don't like this case. In my opinion. And my, my thing is, this case would be higher quality than one other case, but there's one other case that's probably worse, but shorter. So but I don't shorter? Mind, but I don't mind. So See, I, don't mind I like the much. length. I like the length of it because at first you're like, is this really the case that we're in a panty snatcher? And then later you're like, oh, but there's more depth to this and you see how all yeah, the connections go together. Yeah, I mean, I just, there's a lot of cases like that where you see all the connections and you're and like, think, oh. And I think it's why people hate the circus case so much. They don't like the characters. And I get that. I, I mean, like the circus characters. And I, I hate like, the characters. I like some of the circus characters. I really liked Wesley Stickler once you gave him that good voice. Okay. And I liked Alita Tiala the more I saw her because at first I liked I'm her like, a bit more too, but she's still kind of bland and she's un- kind of bland, immemorable. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're going to turn about Serenade. I'm excited for I'm it. I'm excited for also, it. Also, if I get to see also that's the case that introduces the make believe language that we're gonna have to talk in. So I'm so excited. It's gonna be great. Yeah, look forward Make-believe to that. Make believe language. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.